Use organic vermilion as uh, one of the colors here. And the other one we're going to be looking at is Winsor Newton Professional Watercolor. So these are professional artist grade watercolor stick, excuse me, sticks. They're not student grade, they are professional grade pure pigment. And they're a little pricey. Um, the Daniel Smith goes for an average of $12.49 Canadian, uh, so it'd be slightly less American. And uh, the Windsor Newton goes for uh, between um, $10.59 and $16.89 Canadian, depending on uh, um, the type of uh, pigment that's in there. So, um, yeah, that's that's that. So, okay, how we're going to start now is I'm going to color in a section of the square here and um, see how it lays down. Well, you can see with the Daniel Smith. Um, it's flaky, it flakes off, and it's sticky. It's kind of sticky. I don't really like how it goes down as a dry medium. Whereas the uh, Winsor Newton, I'll lay that down. It's beautiful. It goes down really nice and smooth. It's similar to a fine artist crayon. It's really nice. So, um, so this is, let's just see here. Daniel Smith, I would say that, um, so this is going to be, this will be our Daniel Smith, and this is Windsor Newton. So uh, let's give, Windsor Newton is the best, the better dry media, for sure. Um, so this is the dry media area. Um, this now will be, we're going to put down, again, the medium dry, using this dry here. Ugh. I feel like I'm scrubbing with cement, <laughs> except there's cement flakes in it. And uh, this is the um, Windsor Newton again. I'm just put down a really thick layer there. And let's add some water to it. So here are the Daniel Smith. Um, it's actually a pretty um, satur well saturated color, but you can see that there's some pigment stuck to the paper on the bottom. Um, it has a granulated effect, so if you like that and you want to use that, then you can, but it's, um, you can actually get rid of it if you keep working it in, but then it depends on your paper, like your paper will start to pill and, and um, pull up if it's a lower grade or a lighter paper. Um, of course, if it's a heavy watercolor paper, like 140 to 300 pounds, you don't have to worry about that. Um, if it's 90 pound, you might have to. So, and now this is the Windsor Newton, which just melts very nicely. So, and it's uh, you see a little bit of the granulation, um, the texture, the white here. So, um, I would give it, um, I would give it to actually um, Windsor Newton. Um, that's a personal thing, but if you don't want to scrub in the color and try to melt it down, if you just want it to melt when you put it put it down, then then that would work uh, better for you. Now the next one, we're going to actually just put water. Sorry, I see some of the flakes came over, but we're just going to put water down first. And then we're going to put in the or uh, when Daniel Smith. And it, actually, it's really beautiful. It lays down so beautifully. I, I really like it for, and for that. If you're having, if you wet the paper first and then color in your area, it's quite beautiful. And we'll do now the Winter Newton. So we'll fill it in first with water. And then we'll color it in. Mm, as you can see, it's not nearly as saturated. Um, I think this has to do with, there must be a binder, some sort of binder. I don't know what exactly they use here, but the color is not as saturated not nearly as opaque. Um, yeah, so in this case, we have to give it to Daniel Smith um, for opacity. This is almost, I would say these two are, eh, if you don't mind scrubbing a little bit and if it's going to be okay, I would, you know, it's, it's actually, these. it's almost a tie in a way. Um, it depends what you want to use the, the, um, the watercolor sticks for. If you want to use it as a dry media and then alternate, altern Alternating, sorry about that, alternating into wet. If you want to have more control, I'd say the Windsor and ease, uh, ease of application, and it just it glides really nicely. There's no pulling, there's no stickiness. 
um, then the Winsor Newton would be better. But if you if you don't mind this, if you're not really using it as a dry media per se, and you you kind of you can draw a little bit with it, um, if that's okay, then um, then you you'd want to go with the Daniel Smith, and the Daniel Smith it is it is more saturated, much more saturated color, more brilliant. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, and also Daniel Smith. Um, you can th these are professional grade uh, artist grade uh, watercolors, uh, watercolor sticks. So you can take empty pans and just maybe quarter these, stick them in an empty pan, and and there. I think that like I said, this was twelve forty nine. I think I got ten percent off. So what does that end up being like three dollars for a pan of you know high quality um, watercolor paint? So can't go wrong. That would be a really good uh, um, economical um, solution. Okay, so what else did I want to show you? Um, I wanted to show you um, oh, maybe a couple more colors here. Let's, um, let's take a one of the most beautiful colors that Daniel Smith has is a, um, if I can just find it, I had it just a minute ago. I put it aside. There we go. It's a quinacridone uh, burnt orange. It's quite gorgeous. So there's it. See what I mean? You get that grainy. It's not really nicely laid down. Let's do a, a yellow. So this is Winsor Newton yellow, which does quite go down quite nicely. And uh, I'm just going to put some water over that. That's, that's quite gorgeous, hey? Um, and let's try also, um, we have a, I'm going to just spray the rest of it. And I'm going to put down some blue here. So this is the manganese blue hue. Winsor Newton. As you can see, it's not very saturated. It's kind of, you know, it feels like it's subdued. Uh, whereas now I'm trying to get something that is comparable. Uh, here's a cobalt teal, which is, uh, wow, look at that. That's really nice. Yeah, it's quite it's, um, beautiful uh, for saturation. And for drawing, if I can just sort of, uh, as you can see again, it does that. But if you want to use it, dry medium into wet, or if you want to, you know, just put it in an area and then bring in some water with it, then you're going to see how you can melt that. See, you know, just it's going to take a while to work that graininess out, but it'll finally come out. So, which is kind of nice. So, and then you can get some drying effects left behind if you want. Um, what else? I, I, I think that that's uh, it. I think we've covered it all. So, um, uh, also, if you look at cost comparison, um, you know, you get probably twice as much in your um, Daniel Smith as compared to your Winsor Newton stick. So, that's also... So, I mean, for price and for saturation and... And beautiful, yeah, beautiful pigmentation, saturation, Daniel Smith. But for um, beauty of application, down as a dry medium. And then, I mean, it works all right as a, you know, when if you wet it in, but you don't get that sat saturation um, as intense. You don't get as intense a color, a chroma, uh, or a hue, if you will, um, as you do with the Daniel Smith. So there you go. I hope you found this helpful because... Um, they're expensive, <laughs> so you'll be able to make a more educated decision. Uh, thanks again very much for watching, and you can follow me on Twitter. I have my website below, my Twitter, and um, if you have any questions, um, sure, post them down below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks again very much.